Happening now, no verdict yet in the Chase Olivares murder trial. The jury is still deliberating nearly six hours after going behind closed doors. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez live outside the courtroom with the very latest. Valerie? They've been deliberating for about five hours or so. Since then, they've sent out a few notes, one of them requesting to adjust the temperature, so they brought a fan in and it's noticeably chillier. But they are tasked with determining whether Jose Luis Garcia Jr. knowingly and intentionally killed Chase Olivares. They'll be considering certain factors and the events that led to five teenagers showing up at an abandoned ranch house on July 30th, 2017. Two football players from opposite ends of Rio Grande City, Chase Olivares and Jose Luis Garcia Jr. They had brief interactions. The final was at this ranch. How they arrived there stems back to a drug delivery from Garcia to Olivares. In a videotaped interview, Garcia told an investigator he took a bag of drugs totaling about $70 to Olivares' house. Holding a gun, reportedly pointed at Garcia, but with tears in his eyes, Olivares apologized but took the drugs and threatened Garcia not to say anything. Garcia told a psychiatrist he didn't say anything, but someone spread the incident through gossip leading to bullying and taunting at school. Then, a series of threatening messages were reportedly sent from Olivares to Garcia. The jury saw no proof of the existence of the messages. That's when Garcia decided to confront Olivares in a physical fight. He told the psychiatrist a friend told him Olivares would probably have a gun on him and kill him. That's why Garcia grabbed a gun from the family safe in case Olivares had a gun too. Surveillance video was presented to the jury, showing Garcia dropping off Philip Silvera at a gas station the day of the murder. Garcia and another friend, a co-defendant, went to the ranch where they waited for Silvera and Olivares to arrive. Garcia said Olivares agreed to meet with them because he was under the impression the group was going to do drugs. Instead, he was killed when Garcia emerged from his hiding place at an abandoned house on the ranch. They initially selected that ranch for a fight. We will be continue waiting for a verdict if convicted Garcia is facing the possibility of being sentenced to life in jail. Of course, it could be less. His co-defendants, three other uh, teenagers at the time, will be having their trials in the coming weeks. Live in Edinburgh, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.